boss and um, I play Ivan in the movie The Interview. I was told to come here to see Draco about a job. It's been a great project that uh, Giovanni, my friend, who is uh, the director of the movie, we managed to pull some strings and put this together and, and make a great, amazing short movie. Working with Harry Lennox was um, a huge step for me as, as a, an actor who's, who's breaking into the business. To be able to work with an A-list actor as, uh, who's as skilled in a season as Harry was uh, unbelievable. And, and the fact that he wanted to work with me after, after re reading with him um, was, was just great. I, I really, really um, appreciated that and it made this whole short movie just such a much larger thing than we thought it would be. Why well, I came to talk. The day you talk with your fist. And um, Harry turned out to be just the nicest guy to work with. Extremely professional, so nice and courteous and just a, just a great person and uh, I feel honored to have worked with him and I hope that we will work together in the future on, uh, on the big feature. You want to run with wolves, huh? I already do. I'm just looking for a new pack. We just had a really good chemistry, and um, it, it came across pretty good on screen. He made it very comfortable for me to work with him. You know, as, as a as a new up and coming actor. Uh, Working with somebody like that can be intimidating, but it wasn't at all. It was, it was just an amazing experience. You know who sent me, right? I don't like surprises. You come highly recommended from a man who I've never known to recommend anyone. Thank you. Razor, Razor I've known for quite a while. And uh, Grace is just a great guy. Good energy all around. He's very professional, he knows what he wants. Um, he's just all around a good guy, that's what I have to say about Razor. Are you Draco? Nah, man, I'm not Draco. He should definitely be playing characters like that in movies. Definitely. Drop it! Yes, I felt he was intimidating, but since I know him, I had to pretend that he was intimidating. I had to act as if he was intimidating. So, uh, but we were cracking jokes in between takes, so it was all good. Well, Michael J. White is a, is a great friend of mine, and, and I've known him for about four years. Um, we worked on projects together, and um, I asked him, uh, to be a part of this project, to do the fight, fight choreography. Because um, he's just an amazing skilled martial artist. He's in a, a Hall of Fame, a uh, Black Belt Hall of Fame for eight different disciplines, but he has done so many movies, so many fight movies, that he just knows what looks good on camera. If he's standing here, he evades, boom, or whatever, uh -huh. you know, you, you want to do this, boom, boom. Uh -huh. yeah. But it's much more interesting, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Once he gets in this mode, he gets really dedicated working with the stunt people and making it look good and making it look right. And action! Working with the stunt team was, was an amazing experience. Um, 
I've, I've never done fight coordinator, uh, fight coordination or, 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 or stunt fighting before. I've done boxing and some mixed martial arts, but stunt fighting is so different from real fighting because it, it, it has to look good on camera. Ah, Technically, real fighting doesn't always look good, good on camera, so all the, the movements have to be big. And um, so you kind of have to retrain your body to do those motions and make it look good on camera. It was about two weeks, pretty much every morning for two hours, we rehearsed the choreography. And uh, it was a challenge, but I, I really enjoyed it because I had to remember choreography for four different guys and, um, and tried to sell it. And they really did a great job making me look good doing that. <laughs> Character was was pretty easy to get into. I mean, once we um, we had the storyline down and, 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 and where the character was from, it was it, it was pretty easy to get into because I I knew it had to be a a stoic person with a, with intelligence, but still with the tough tough guy image. And um, I know it just just came pretty natural, especially after reading with Harry. And getting his feedback, um, I just knew we had what was right for, for for that character. I remember you said that. <sighs> the director was a pain in the ass. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> Giovanni, uh, uh, I gotta hand it to him. Beautiful, right? beautiful. Right. Check the gates on that. So Next that. shot right, up bud. is. I've never seen anybody so dedicated to what he was doing, so professional and paying attention to every little detail. There, you guys go there. Tom Boss, Tom Boss, you go in your position here. Again? Again, clean up your pants as best you can, guys. Yeah, that's nice. Take your pants as best like you can. That. Tom, just wipe down your pants as best you can. Watch the cameras. But he knew. When the lighting was where, at that exact day, at that time, how much time we had to shoot each scene. I mean, he had this down to a T, and I've never seen anybody be so professional, and it just went smooth, 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 smooth. And we got uh, amazing cinematography out of it. We got a great little short out of it, and it just shows, it gives you just a uh, a little taste of the potential that Giovanni has as director. I want like extreme close up on the punch. Oh, just just on the punch from here. Uh, like, extreme close up. Like I want to. This is the frame right here. Okay. Okay. Just yeah. a fist hit. That's all he's doing, right? That's all he's doing. I, I was extremely passionate about just giving everything I had to do my best. Uh, working with Harry, with the entire crew and Giovanni, because everybody was given their best. So I wanted to be at my best. And, um, I think I did my best. <laughs> Great. When do I start? <laughs> <laughs>